Everybody. Welcome to the St Andrews College Class of 2023 Graduation Ceremony. On behalf of the College Principal, Dr Stephen Canor, members of the College Leadership Team and staff, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our special guests this evening. Mr Jack DeGroote, Executive Director of Schools, Catholic Schools Parramatta Diocese, and Father Kevin Redman, Assistant Priest at St Andrew's Parish, Marion. Thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Jocelyn Khalifa, and I'm the Assistant Principal Teaching, Learning and Wellbeing 
and I will be your MC tonight. I would like to invite Jordan Belado to begin our graduation ceremony with the welcome to country. Warami Walambal Ami, Garang Borak Bujari, Najunya Darg Naroa, Bujari Nangari, Naya Jordan. Hello, welcome wherever you have come from to be here. Good to see you on Darg country. Good evening, I am Jordan, a proud Borogurongo Darg man. As we gather here today on the beautiful unceded lands of my people, the Darug people, I would like to pay re my respects to our elders past and present. We honor and respect our ancestors who walked this country before us. We extend this respect to our other First Nations brothers and sisters. On behalf of the Darug people, we welcome those with good heart and good intent to country. Today marks the end of one journey that began 13 years ago. We stand at the threshold of a new chapter in our lives, a chapter we've been eagerly waiting for and working tirelessly towards. As we step forward into the unknown, let us do so with courage as my ancestors once did. Here's to the memories we've made, the friendships we've forged, and the bright futures that await us. Yanama Bujari Gumada. Let's walk in good spirit. Tonight we celebrate Year 12 2023 and their many varied achievements. Tonight is a formal occasion. Before we commence, I would like to remind everybody that mobile phones should be switched to silent or turned off, please. Secondly, there is a professional photographer here who will photograph each student as they graduate. So I would ask you not to come towards the stage with your own camera. These photos we made available to students, along with photos from the formal at the end of the examination period. And thirdly, a reminder that the personal videoing of this event is prohibited under child protection and privacy laws. This event is also live streamed. For those of you who would like family photographs taken, the photographer will be available at the front of the stage at the end of the proceedings. Those students who receive major prizes will be called to the stage at the end of the evening for a group photograph. Tonight, we honour the achievements of our graduating class. In recognition of the importance that the college places on tonight, the staff of St Andrews College will formally process into the hall in academic dress. Please remain seated. The tradition of academic dress began in the earliest days of the oldest universities. The gowns and hoods are based on the attire of monks or clerics who back then formed the majority of students. It is thought that the dress served a number of purposes, firstly to keep students warm in the lofty halls of the university and also to keep the shaved heads of the monks warm, hence the hood. The various gowns and hoods reflect the various degrees and various university staff have graduated from. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please welcome the staff of St Andrews College.
Thank you and welcome to the dedicated staff of St Andrews College. I ask that you now take your seats. I now invite Bianca Infante to lead us in our opening prayer. Please join, me, join with me in the making of the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as these year 12 students look toward the future, they know that you have plans for them that you have chosen with divine care. Holy Spirit, lead them to do your work yet allow them to be still and know that you are there when trouble is close at hand. May your word be a guide for them when making decisions, a solid place to set their feet. As our graduating students leave the college, may they know that you will continue to walk the journey of life with them. St. Andrew, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. With pride in our country and our school, could you please stand and join in the singing of our national anthem? <laughs> I would now like to invite the person who has guided this cohort through the last five years of their high school journey to where they are today. Mr. David Frankham, would you now come to the stage and deliver your farewell address to Year 12? Dr. Stephen Knorr, distinguished guests, parents, families, and colleagues, and to you, the graduating class of 2023, welcome to this graduation ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Knorr, for allowing me to finish the job of guiding these wonderful young people through to year 12. It has been my honor and privilege to be their companion on the journey. This journey began more than five years ago when I learned that I would be replacing Ms. Nicole Laverne as leader of wellbeing for this cohort when they were in year eight. I thank Mrs. Laverne for her care of most of these students in year seven. And I also thank her for deciding to go on a tree change so I was able to become their leader of wellbeing. 
I remember at the time she said to me, this was a special year group, to which I responded, they are all special in year seven, but I soon found out how accurate she was. I have three children and I have led three year groups uh, over 10 years in this position. And I have no favourites amongst my three children, but I do have a definite favourite amongst my year groups, and that is you, year 12. In fact, I told Dr. Knorr more than a year ago, a year ago that I would like to step down from the leader of wellbeing position at the end of 2023. And when he asked me why, I said, I simply can't give my heart to another year group in the way in which I've given mine to this year group. We have shared good times and bad, triumphs and disappointments. And I have shared many tears over the years, but I'm very pleased to say that most of those tears were due to immense pride when I see you perform or give a speech or play sport or do whatever, all the different things that you have done. To our college student leadership team, thank you so much for all that you have done. You epitomise our college motto, doing more, going beyond. And when we, you were given your leadership positions, Dr. Knorr challenged you to maintain the standard of the previous cohort, but to do it in your own way. I believe you have excelled in this challenge. One of the biggest ways in which you have done so is the sheer number of students involved in your initiatives. And there's very little separation when we have our leadership meetings between the responsibilities of the SRC and the responsibilities of the House Captains. Everyone simply just turns up and does their bit. Some examples of their leadership include our college's first ever digital year 12 yearbook that is completely produced by students for students. This has been an ongoing project throughout the year and is not yet completed because we haven't yet completed the year. The way in which um, they have connected the two campuses through their theme week. Uh, we have theme weeks uh, in the college based on character strengths and uh, we now have a situation where both year 10 and year 12 uh, create agendas for the junior and senior campus and that was completely led by our student leadership team. Also another example is the huge number of people uh, that can get involved in charity events like the Vinnie's Winter Sleep Out this year, where we all shared a very cold evening, and multiple versions of the Biggest Morning Tea, which is also incredible. The entire grade has also shown commendable leadership through their contributions to the St Andrews community. In discussions with Mr Chiapetta, we believe that there has not been another year group who have matched the sheer number of students involved in our community initiatives. Some examples include the amazing CAN performances over the years. Also this year having almost half our year group perform at Unity Day. Even the way back in year 10 a few years ago that they all helped each other um, during business sim. There are many people I would like to thank for their contribution in the care and guidance of these students over six years. Of course, there's too many of you to mention. Uh, mention all of you by name, but uh, I just please know that it is very much appreciated by me. I, do like, I would like to mention some people though. Firstly, Dr. Knorr, thank you for your leadership at the college in the last five years. Your high expectations have helped these students strive for more. Thanks to Mr. Thrum for all you have done uh, over the years, and certainly in the early years, uh, I believe that some of these students thought they were only there to get them in trouble, but I believe now they understand that we're more than that. Thank you to Mr. Hoare and Ms. Tan for creating such a warm and welcoming atmosphere in all our faith formation experiences, including the beautiful graduation mass that we all experienced this morning. Thank you to Ms. Khalifa for all your curriculum-based matters and for the preparation of this evening. Thank you to Ms. McKechnie and Ms. Welch for all your organisation of the end of year celebrations. Thank you to Mrs. Cooper for all your work behind the scenes and the entire wellbeing team for your support and listening ears. Thanks to all office staff, particularly Mrs. McDonald and Mrs. Potts, for your care of these students. 
Thank you also to Mrs May for your career and life guidance. I know how appreciative the students are for your help. Thank you to Ms Amiri and Ms Reddy for being my right-hand women in support of our diversity students over the years. Thank you also to all the learning advisors and classroom teachers from 7 to 12. And this year, a big thank you to the Year 12 teachers for all their preparation um, for the HSC this year. Of course, the HSC is yet to come and there's still lots of work to do. Finish well and you'll make yourselves and your families proud. When the HSC fades into memory, please remember my two biggest lessons for you over the years. And that is to practice gratitude and empathy every day. I hope you have kept at least one of the gratitude rocks that I've given you in either year eight, year 10, or year 12. When practiced regularly, empathy and gratitude helps to change the lens through which you see the world, and it seems like a better place. I will now share a poem by, poem by Langston Hughes titled Dreams, and I dedicate it to you, year 12. Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Finally, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Thank you. We begin our evening with our formal graduation. The Students' Learning Advisor for 2023 will present their students for graduation. Each student receives a portfolio containing a graduation certificate. In addition, some of the students' portfolios contain extra awards that have been given based on the students' performance and involvement across Year 12. These will be displayed on the screen for you to see. Other certificates that you will see awarded are academic certificates awarded to the second and third place in each course, as well as the top 10% of students in each subject. Outstanding academic growth certificates. These recognise students who have achieved outstanding academic growth from the preliminary to the HSC courses. Outstanding effort certificates. These recognise students who have demonstrated outstanding effort across the various courses. Effective project management certificates that recognise students who have successfully managed their major projects as part of their program. And perfect attendance and perfect punctuality certificates. In keeping this occasion formal, we would appreciate it if everybody could hold their applause until the last member of the learning group has graduated. We can then congratulate the learning group as a whole. I now invite Mr. David Franken back to the stage to read the names of Year 12 as they graduate, along with Miss Marsha Edwards to present learning group B7 with their portfolios. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Learning Group B17. Ren Adralis. Fabio Andrade Sa. Magdalene Batte. Alessandra Bova. Carly Burrell.
Joshua De La Rosa. Neil De Silva. Tiana Flores. Dominic Habil. Alyssa Hallett. Ben He. Stephanie Herbert. Bianca Infante. Trisha Messer. Olivia Rodovu. John Rojas. Mark Stowell. V. Tong. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group C17. I now invite Mrs. Ananta Reddy to the stage to present Learning Group B19 with their portfolios. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Learning Group B19. Hannah Ajayi. Pablo Aquino. Drew Beatty. Jav Kalingiel. Dennis Steary. Caitlin De La Cruz. Redette Deris again. Lou Donald Go. Sophia Gulas. Jade Kimber. Priyansha Krishna. Damien Lloyd. Miguel Maker. Jude Messer.
and they knew rich. Nathania Pereira. Jayant Srinivasan. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group B19. We would now have our first musical item for this evening. Please welcome Ira May Requamey, Jarrell Kayanan, and Ayla Ariola to the stage to perform The Climb.
Thank you very much to these students for their performance. I now invite Mrs Jessica Attard to the stage to present Learning Group C17 with their portfolios. Luella David. Aliana De La Cruz. Jeremy Garcia. Kayla Katipunan. Saurabh Najibi. Erika Padilla. Abigail Penarubia. Nathaniel Peterson. Max Preet. Theresia Pawadi. Ira May Recrome. Jackson Cyber. Nathaniel Sikat. Aryan Singh. Viren Slaga. Arthur Wang. Danny Yazbek. Michaela Zabanta. Please congratulate, congratulate the graduates of Learning Group C17. I now invite Ms Jane Callahan to the stage to present Learning Group C18 with their portfolios. Ben Afu. Rohan Alano. Ayla Ariola. Carl Aringo. Arman Binder. Francesca Colloquian. Nan Bhut Ding.
Patrick Iskander. Venus Coco. Shania Lel. John Lukudu. <laughs> Daniel Martinago. <laughs> Kia Panja. Mariah Pickering. Matthew Sagwid. Emily Sen. John Trin. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group C18. We will now have the second musical item for the evening. I would like to welcome Tristan Borgia to the stage to perform Heartbreak Anniversary. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tristan, for that wonderful performance. I now invite Mr. Jason Alata to the stage to present Learning Group F20 with their portfolios. A reminder to please hold your applause to the end. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Learning Group F20. Marissa Bajar. George Bo Mensor Navez, Holly Brazier, Xander Kassapit. Christopher Gazali, Matthew Issa, Christine Jarbe. Jai Keller Music. Ashrup Kaur. Kiara Khalil. Julie Malky. Gwyneth Nanta. Ethan Narayan. Alicia Pillay. Elaine Riez. Deshav Singh. Alyssa Sclibosius. Sione Tafia. Sabrina Thomas. Rihanna Valencia. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group F20. I now invite Mr. Raj Jayaratna to the stage to present Learning Group F22 with their portfolios. Lucas Batika. Jordan Belido. Go, Jordan!
Jagdishvi Chana. Jordan Gutierrez. Sylvia Kapanapua. Talia Letu. Anna Lagali. Christina Mene. Ash Normand. Nick Shay Nand. Georgia Pesnan. ABL Santos. Misty Sharma. Ethan Silva. And Talia Timmel. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group F22. We will now have our final musical item for the evening, and I would like to welcome Ada Domingo to the stage to perform Don't Dream It's Over.
Thank you, Ada, for that beautiful performance. I now invite Mrs. Alexandra Serban to the stage to present Learning Group G22 with their portfolios. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Learning Group G22. Dorothy N. Zoa. <laughs> Noah Basili. Nicholas Bustani. Jarrell Kayanan. Nicola Girardis. Dominique Greppo. Georgine Hippolito. Hannah Johnston. Stephanie Kwiatowski. Zaylee Luna. Yes, Zaylee! Yeah! Hakim Marial. <laughs> Laura O'Neill. Corinne Rial. I love you, Arthur! Corinne, get going! Hayden Saunders. Dean Swift. Natalia Topic. Nicole Wasif. Please congratulate the graduates of Learning Group G22. I now invite Mr. Jake Dowers to the stage to present Learning Group G24 with their portfolios. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Learning Group G24. Ava Alley. Kritika Ariel. Joshua Bundu. Finlay Blanche. Tristan Borgia. Yeah, Tristan, Sienna Kabusas.
Ada Domingo. Norbert Dricci. Alia Fernando. Dolly Jangra. Ding Joseph. Matthew Medinsky. Eric No. Diana Park. <laughs> Veronica Rahman. Sebastian Santiago. Yushika Sharma. Cooper Shield. Anna Vayoka Kala. John Vayokakala. <laughs> Please congratulate these students on their outstanding achievements. I now ask all Group 1 award recipients to take their places and welcome Mr Jocelyn Kleefer back to the stage. We would now like to present the first in-course awards. Trophies are awarded to the student with the highest performance in each subject, which are based on the total course assessment in Year 12. There are four special first in-course trophies that honour and remember former teachers and students of St Andrews College in Chemistry, Hospitality, Mathematics and Visual Arts. Kayla Brogan, Leader of Learning, PDHPE, will present the awards to the following students who have achieved a first in course for one subject. Can we please hold our applause to the end? Juan Pablo Aquino, Economics. Kritika Arya, PDHPE. Marissa Bija, Vet Skills for Work. Joshua Bandu, Vet Construction. Jordan Belado, Food Technology.
Christopher Gazale, Vet Business Services. Jordan Gitteres, Mathematics Standard 1. Deng Joseph, English Studies. <coughs> Shania Lal, English Extension 1. Christina Manet, Design and Technology. Matthew Medinsky, first in chemistry and recipient of the Robert Louis Memorial Trophy for Chemistry. Nick Shane Arnd, Physics. Manav Preet, <laughs> Industrial Technology Multimedia. Yashika Sharma, Business Studies. Jackson Cyber, Industry Based Learning. Danny Yazbek, Engineering Studies. Please join me in congratulating these first in course I now invite Mr. Rohan Isaac, Leader of Learning Science, to present the awards to the following students who have achieved a first in course for two subjects. <coughs> Lucas Batika, first in geography and sport, lifestyle and recreation. Ada Domingo, first in music and studies of religion too. <laughs> Sophia Guilas, community and family studies and vet hospitality. Sophia also receives the Eliza Asali Memorial Trophy for hospitality. <laughs> Patrick Iskander, first in Investigating Science and Mathematics Standard 2. Eric No, first in Ancient History and History Extension. Please join me in congratulating these students. I invite Mrs. Tracy Thompson, Leader of Learning Mathematics, to present the awards to the following students who have achieved a first in course in three subjects. Theresia Pawadi, first in Japanese Continuous, Legal Studies and Visual Arts. Theresia also is a recipient of the Charmaine Dalagog Memorial Trophy in Visual Arts. Please join me in congratulating Teresa. <laughs> I invite Mr. Michael Kelly, Catholic Schools Parramatta Diocese Vet Leader of Learning, to present the awards to the following two students who have achieved first in course in four subjects. Ava Ali, first in English Advanced, Society and Culture, Science Extension and Studies of Religion 1.
Nicola Gerardus, first in drama, vet entertainment industry, work studies and studies in Catholic form. Please join me in congratulating these students. I now invite Mr. Daniel Camilleri, Leader of Learning, HSIE, who will present the following to the student who has achieved a first in course award in an incredible five subjects. ABL Benedict Santos. First place in English Standard, Mathematics Extension 1, Mathematics Extension 2, Modern History, Vet Information and Digital Technologies, and ABL is also the recipient of the Pamela Westman Memorial Tri Trophy for Mathematics. Can we please congratulate all our first in course prize winners? <laughs> to farewell St Andrews College on behalf of the class of 2023, would you please welcome our college captains for 2024. Good evening everyone. To the Year 12 class of 2023, all parents, family and staff, it's so heartwarming to be here with you all tonight. Congratulations again to the graduating class of 2023. We are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you, and it's incredible to see our families gather for the last time after 13 years of schooling. All here to celebrate each of you and all of your wonderful achievements. Our countdown of days has finally come to an end. I am filled with both excitement for the start of each of our new journey and filled with sadness for the final chapter of another. The past six years here at St Andrews have taught me so much about who I am and helped shape me for the better. With it finally hitting me that this past year has been filled with all our loss and a lifetime of memories I know we will all cherish. Our grade isn't just filled with our friends and peers, we have truly become one united family. Knowing there will be no more lunchtime basketball games or car meetups in the ch church car park makes it all feel real. But the bright side of graduating is remembering all the friendships we made and held onto through thick and thin. To all the friends I've made, I want you to know how much you mean to me and how much of an impact you have made on my life. Thank you for always supporting, caring and uplift uplifting me throughout the years. I am forever grateful to have been surrounded by a beautiful grade of individuals who I know deep down will all flourish and do great things in the future. It all seems scary as we start applying for unis and getting early offers, continuing to be asked the question, what do you want to do after school? For those who know what they want to do and to those still unsure, to know that it's all okay and that my greatest piece of advice to you is to do and pursue what truly makes you happy. To continue down your own path with no regrets and to know that it's okay to be and feel outside your comfort zone. I must confess how nerve wracking it is to finally encounter this long awaited moment of what many of our alumnus have coined as freedom. I stand before you on this threshold of freedom with anxious anticipation for what life might be like to not wake up every day to go to the same familiar place and pass by the same familiar faces that I have done ritually for the last six years. One of the greatest memories I will always treasure in my heart is from the last hour of our U12 retreat, huddled together with the brightest of smiles, arms all linked, 
as we sing the power of your love at the top of our lungs. The bond, the closeness, was incomparable to anything I'd ever experienced before. Together we've shared the loudest of laughs, we wiped each other's tears, and stayed up on late night phone calls, gaslighting ourselves that we're prepared for the next day's exam. The greatest friendships are constant like the moon. The moon doesn't always stay the same. It is constantly shifting through phases, but always undoubtedly there. High school has been our whole world for what feels like forever. And our friendships are the moon passing through phases, keeping our world in balance and never straying from its orbit around the world. Thank you for always being there as figures of comfort and for all the memories made and cherished despite the changes we've endured. Thank you for your support, for the protection from the medias that are the obstacles of life. And thank you for being the balance, forever keeping the world at peace. As we go forth to conquer our final exams, do so with the satisfaction that wherever life takes you will always be our own family and this will forever be our home. I have been beyond blessed to have found a community so full of love, passion and kindness and I will forever be indebted to you for all the wonderful high school experiences we've made together. For creating a reality far exceeding my expectations for what high school might be. Not only did we make the most incredible friendships among our cohort, but the relationships we fostered with the teachers at this college go beyond all expectations. We would like to thank all our teachers who have forever been a support network for us, for guiding, teaching and mentoring us as we continue to grow and find ourselves. There's no way we'd be the people we are today without the hard work of our incredible teachers who shaped us into the fine young men and women, guiding us every step of the way. Thank you for all the time and energy you've invested in us, for all your patience, your unwavering support and guidance. You've played tremendous roles in shaping our academic journey and we are forever grateful for your dedication. As we undertake the HSE exams, your voices will undoubtedly fill our heads with reminders to guide us through. Each of my teachers have played a significant role in helping me grow academically and as a person. Mere words cannot express the incredible impact you've had on our lives. Thank you for always pushing me and believing in me. It's hard to believe that I'll never sit in Mr. Hoare's SOR2 class and have a heated debate on the concept of the divine, or have another countdown competition as a cool down after an intense maths lesson on integral calculus in Mr. Will's class. All of our teachers have been a guiding light that have helped us navigate through challenges and emerge stronger. I don't think we could possibly say this enough, but thank you for everything. To Dr. Kanor, we are eternally grateful and honored to have had you as our college principal over the past five years. For the never ending support you showed towards our school teams by coming to PDSSC Thursday sport games or cheering on the side at creative art nights and shows. For the guidance, wise words and stories you shared towards the leadership team and at assemblies. We want you to know that you make a huge impact in our lives and continue to inspire us all. Thank you again for the encouragement you have shown us through the many proposals and theme weeks we've planned throughout the years. Would you please kindly join us on stage as Lou Donald and Bianca present with you this bouquet of flowers as a token of our gratitude. To the Year 12 leadership team and all past leaders here at St Andrews, Caitlin and I want to again say the biggest thank you and show our appreciation for all your hard work, effort and love you have put into our college community. Without all your hard work and support, we not, would not have been able to create such a diverse and inspiring community of students. On behalf of our cohort, we would like to express our deepest gratitude to Mr Franken 
who gave us all the greatest insight to the very concept of gratitude. Your patience and understanding have made all the difference in our learning experiences. You are not just a teacher or a leader of well-being to us. You are like a father, showing us unconditional love and treating us like one of your own. Five years ago, we were just a bunch of young, clueless year eights. And as the years have gone by, as our St. Andrew's family has grown, you have walked with us through our entire journey. At the beginning of our senior high school journey, you left us with a quote by Sydney Harris. When I hear someone say life is hard, I am always tempted to ask, compared to what? Through our years in school, we've expressed our fair share of life is hard, most often around assessment and exam season. Thanks to you, we've learned that while life may be filled with many hardships, life is also full of an abundance of blessings that we must be grateful for. That everyone is going through their own journey of ups and downs, and it is our personal responsibility to live with gratitude and love with empathy. If high school is the world and our friendships are the moon, Mr. Franken, you are most definitely our sun. You are our prime source of light and energy that never fails to guide and empower us. I can say with confidence that each student of our cohort feels blessed to have you as our year coordinator. As a token of our appreciation for all you've done for us, we would like to leave you with this gift. We are honored to be your final cohort as you retire as a leader of well-being. Thank you, Mr. Frankham, for your love, care, and compassion that has made a lasting impact on each and every one of our lives. Tonight we must all recognize all the hard work and dedication of our parents. To thank them for all the love, sacrifices and support they have shown us throughout our past 13 years of schooling. I want to specifically thank my parents as I know I would not be the person I am today or even just standing up here as college captain without the advice and unconditional love and support they have shown me. Mommy and Papa, thank you for always just being there and showing up for me. Coming as a parent helper to my excursions, watching me compete at swimming and athletics carnivals, or coming to every assembly or award ceremony. For all the sacrifices you have made and will continue to make as I continue down a new journey, I am eternally grateful to both of you for being my biggest supporters and role models, or as encouraging, encouraging me to do my best. You have taught me how to stand up for myself, be kind and forever grateful to all the miracles and sacrifices of others. To mention them in general would not do them justice. So I'd like to specifically thank my parents for always supporting me through my schooling journey. Your patience, generosity, compassion and rationality have always guided, us, guided me through high school. Every achievement of mine is a mere reflection of all the hard work you both do to help me reach my fullest potential. Mama and Daddy, there aren't enough words in the world to express my gratitude for the love and support you never fail to shower me with. Thank you, Mama, for helping me make cupcakes, macaroons, cookies, and last week's Thoron for all the bake sales and picnics we've had through the years. Even though I'm probably the most underprepared person in your eyes, I just want you to know that I try hard to be your mini Girl Scout, living under your ever-prepared example with floss picks and spare socks in my bag everywhere I go. And I'd like to say thank you to my dad for constantly being ready to do early drop-offs and late pickups for me, Jacob, and many of our friends. You were happy to drop me off at school at 7.30 in the morning to go to the 2018 PDSSE dance competition and you were there to pick me up from school at 11 p.m. after the Vinnie's Van volunteer shift last August. You always remind me to trust my gut, and in doing so, it brought me here to the greatest community I could ever hope for. Thank you both for being the rock that always supports me and the hearts that forever love me. As we embark on the next phase of our lives, the future may appear daunting, but remember we are not just graduates, we are tall birches Torch, virtues of change, 
advocates for progress and architects of our destinies. Our diverse passions in life will lead us down different paths, but let us remain united in our pursuit of excellence and our commitment to making the world a better place. We want to remind you of the family we have built here and that we are always here for each other for the years to come. As we embark on a new adventure that is uniquely our own, we must remember that every obstacle is a part of God's plan. We know you all hold the potential to reach great lengths of success. Whatever path you choose, let this next chapter in our lives be one we approach with passion, courage of conviction, and a strong sense of self. Wherever you may find yourself, strive to do more and go beyond. Sabrina and I are truly blessed to have served you all as leaders of this college. And in witnessing the growth of each and every one of you, we recognize your potential to achieve the greatest successes in life. No matter what, no matter how difficult life may seem, no matter how far away you are, there will always be a home you can come back to. This school, this community, this grade is our home. As Mr. Thrum said, once a St. Andrew student, always a St. Andrew student. Congratulations, class of 2023. We finally made it. God bless you all. Many thanks to Sabrina and Caitlin for their fine leadership of the college throughout 2023. We will now be presenting a number of particularly prestigious awards. These will culminate with the awarding of the Ducks of the College and the St Andrews Award, Award which will be the final formalities for the evening. We are now going to present our major awards. Those students who receive major awards tonight will receive two trophies. The first is the Perpetual Trophy, which remains in the College Trophy Cabinet with the person's name inscribed on it. The second is kept for the student. I now invite Dr. Kenor to present the first of our major awards, the Leadership Award. These students have led assemblies, been involved in many social justice initiatives, have engaged with staff in a very responsible and mature way to better the college. They've made many contributions to our school community and have been excellent role models for our students of St Andrews College. The Leadership Award is presented to Caitlin De La Cruz and Sabrina Thomas. The Creative and Performing Arts Award will be presented by Mr. Antonio Chiapetta, Leader of Learning for Music and Performance. <laughs> the Creative and Performing Arts Award recognises a student who has made the most significant impact in the performing arts in their senior years and have obtained skills needed to one day succeed in the entertainment industry. This year we have two exceptional students who have consistently demonstrated exceptional performance skills, generously sharing their talents and expertise at a multitude of school events, including CAN, Jazz Evenings, Major Work Showcases, School Liturgies and Unity Day. Their unwavering commitment to helping others and their willingness to give generously of their time have made them deserving recipients of this award. The recipients of the Creative and Performing Arts Award for 2023 are Ada Domingo and Jarell Kayanen.
The Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year will be presented by our College Sports Coordinator, Mrs. Iva Miss Ivana Nikitovic. There have been many outstanding representatives among Year 12 in various sporting areas. These awards recognise a breadth of involvement and excellent in, excellence in sport. The 2023 Sportsman of the Year was a member of the College PD SSSC basketball representative team and represented the College at the PD SSSC Open Boys Basketball Gala Day. He placed first in high jump for the PD SSSC Athletics Carnival, allowing him to progress to the combined Catholic Colleges Athletics Competition. Please join me in congratulating the Sportsman of the Year for 2023, John Lakudu. The 2023 Sportswoman of the Year was selected for the New South Wales Combined Catholic Colleges Volleyball Team and is captain of the New South Wales Combined Catholic Colleges Opens Volleyball Team. She was chosen to play for the University of Sydney Senior Women's Volleyball Team, refereed the Australian Men and Women's Volleyball Super League and awarded Best Setter for the State Volleyball Tournaments. Please congratulate the Sportswoman of the Year for 2023, Bianca Infante. The Outstanding School Service Award will be presented by Mr. Travis Kolek, Assistant Leader of Learning for English. This award is given to the student who in the eyes of staff and students demonstrated the strongest commitment of service to the school community in a wide range of areas. The recipient of this award has been involved in many activities connected to school service. He is always present at any college activity that involves service and social justice. He was a member of Vinnie's and a member of the Student Representative Council. He participated in the Vinnie's Winter Sleepout, countless fundraising events, and also assisted at public speaking and debating. He is a student who genuinely cares for his peers and is truly a person for others. Please congratulate the winner of the Outstanding School Service Award for 2023, Cooper Shield. <laughs> Our next award is the Outstanding Commitment to Study. This award will be presented by Mr. Nicholas Thrum, Assistant Principal Wellbeing and Learning. This award reflects the value that we place at St Andrews, not just on those who achieve well, such as those who win academic trophies and certificates, but also on students achieving their personal best. The Outstanding Commitment to Study Award is awarded to the students who have shown the greatest commitment and effort into their studies across all their courses. This student is hardworking, extremely dedicated and committed to her studies. She always sought help and utilised the facilities at St Andrews available to her. She set goals and continually strived to improve her results and achieve her personal best. She has demonstrated perseverance, determination, drive and a positive attitude. This student is an excellent role model and is well deserving of this prestigious award. Please congratulate the winner of the Outstanding Commitment to Study Award for 2023, Ava Ali. Our next award is for the most outstanding academic improvement. It will pre be presented by our business manager, 
Mrs. Melissa Welch. This award is presented to the student who has made the greatest improvement in their overall academic results from the preliminary year to their HSC. Please congratulate the student with the most outstanding academic improvement for 2023, Lucas Batika. Our next award will be presented by Mr. Bill Robson, Leader of Learning Technologies. The Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award was introduced to recognise Australian students' science, mathematics, engineering and technology abilities and encourage the continued development of these skills. This award formally recognises students who have demonstrated motivation and innovation in the areas of STEM within their school and who display strong personal ethical values such as doing one's best. This student consistent, consistently achieved high results in engineering studies and science extension. These two subjects combined show both a technical and creative side which lead to innovation. He is a high achieving STEM student who studied Advanced and Extension 1 Mathematics as well as Physics, evidence of the skill required in these subjects and for a future innovator. Please congratulate the recipient of the 2023 Future Innovators Award, Danny Yazbek. The ADF Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Award will be presented by Mr. Jacob Wills, Assistant Leader of Learning for Mathematics. The ADF Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Award recognises students who demonstrate leadership and teamwork within both the school and the broader community. The award recognises individuals who have demonstrated leadership qualities and values which align to those of the Australian Defence Force. The key areas of award are leadership, teamwork, values, problem solving, resourcefulness, communication, cooperation and community involvement. The recipient of this award is an outstanding leader who demonstrates the values of leadership in all that she does. In her role as Cap Vice Captain of the College, she has exemplified the qualities of teamwork, communication and cooperation. Her role as leader, has demonstrated her resourcefulness and problem solving as she gives up her time each week to lead group activities and fill the community with a sense of empowerment. The Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Award in Year 12 is awarded to Theresia Pawadi. The Ampol All-Rounder Award will be, will be presented by Mr. Patrick Finity, Assistant Principal, Systems, Data and Professional Learning. This award recognises excellence across a range of academic, extracurricular, school and community service, sporting and cultural areas, as well as having a selfless attitude, exemplary personal conduct and leadership skills. The recipient of this award is an enthusiastic member of the college community who was willing to get involved in all college events and lead by example. Over and above her commitment to learning and social justice within the college, she has dedicated over 150 hours towards refereeing volleyball and was awarded the Blacktown City Council Junior Sports Person of the Year and Blacktown City Council Junior Official of the Year. Please congratulate 
the Ampol Best All-Rounder for 2023, Bianca Infante. The Bishop of Parramatta Award for Excellence will be presented by Mr. Andrew Hall, Director of Faith Mission and Learning, and Father Kevin Redmond, Assistant Priest at St. Andrew's Parish Marion. This award recognises outstanding young men and women who witness their Catholic faith and achieve well in their academic, sporting, vocational or community endeavours. It was presented two weeks ago at a special ceremony, but we would like to re-present it tonight. The recipient of this award is a shining example of faith in action in all she does. She emanates a strong faith, which is evident through her leadership in the SAC Youth Group Social Justice Society, and as a member of the Vinnie's Van team. As school captain, she is truly a person for others, always willing to share her lived faith through her active involvement in all college initiatives. She is a role model for all students who leads by example as she strives for academic excellence and to passionately encourage others to engage in the faith life of the school. The Bishop of Parramatta Award for Student Excellence is awarded to Caitlin Delacruz. I now ask that all Group 2 award recipients please take their places. Our Academic Excellence Awards this evening will be presented by Mr Jack DeGroot, Executive Director of the Diocese, who will be assisted by our Year 12 Leader of Wellbeing, Mr David Franken. The certificates in individual subjects that were presented with portfolios recognised students who had achieved in the top 10% of that subject. The Academic Excellence Awards recognises students who across all their subjects have shown consistent excellent performance. This is based on the overall Year 12 assessment performance. When presented with their trophy, the Academic Excellence winners are asked to please remain on stage. The students achieving Academic Excellence Awards in 2023 in alphabetical order are Ava Ali. Juan Pablo Aquino. Kritika Ariel. Ada Domingo. Lou Donald Go. Patrick Iskander. Jai Kalamuzi. Shania Yilal.
Nikshay Nand. Eric No. <laughs> Teresia Pawadi. <laughs> Abiel Benedict Santos. Yashika Sharma <laughs> Cooper Shield <laughs> Anna Vaisiawa Valkakala Please congratulate all our Academic Excellence Award recipients. I ask Mr De Groot to remain on stage to our sister, our college principal, Dr Stephen Kanor, in, in presenting our aggregate awards. Overall third place in Year 12 goes to Teresia Pawadi. <laughs> Overall... Overall second place in Year 12 goes to Ava Ali. The College Ducks in Year 12 for 2023 is awarded to ABL Benedict Please congratulate all our award winners. Our final award is the highest award in the college and is named the St Andrews Award. I now invite Dr Stephen Kenor and Father Kevin Redman to present the St Andrews Award. This award is one that represents a wider scope than all our other awards. St Andrew was the first to respond to Jesus' call to discipleship. He was a, a person who influenced others. He was a leader. He could change things for the better and he was of outstanding character, virtue and ability. The recipient of this award would personify all the values we, as a community, endorse and to which we aspire. 
As such, the St Andrews Award is the highest award of the college. The St Andrews Award recipient is an outstanding role model who strives to follow in Jesus' footsteps. They display strong Christian values and show compassion through their leadership and involvement in social justice. This student is an active participant and visible participant in all aspects of our college community. She has genuine care towards the college and her peers and is driven to lead others and make the college a positive learning environment. She demonstrates this through her behaviour and in her work ethic. She is an inspiration to other students, demonstrating Catholic leadership through her values. She is an active participant in all aspects of college life. Would you please congratulate the recipient of the St Andrews Award for 2023, Teresia Pawadi. Can we give, please give a final round of applause to all our award recipients? <laughs> Tonight is a wonderful way to honour these fine young men and women. The following video captures the special times this group have had together over the years. Let us take a moment to celebrate the class of 2023 and reflect on their past six years at St Andrews College. Love is when you try to make it out alive But you can't turn the radio down And you can't think of anyone else uh, Look, I can see your face in the Parisian paintings the Mona Lisa, I can hear your voice in the streets and the TV stations. I can feel the strains on my wrist, I don't need these bracelets. Of all the things that she keeps in cages, uh, I'm at least his favorite, uh. And she said, I was about to give you all of me on all the weekends, and all I wanted was apologies and all of your bed. Uh, over my heels, falling on my head, but all of my feels were already dead. And if I could rewind it for you, if you could remind me of what I felt before I felt for your idea of love. Love is when you try to place it out your mind, but you can't turn the radio down, and you can't think of anyone else. And love is when you try to make it out alive, but you can't turn the radio down, and you can't think of anyone else. Sad. I'm gonna miss all of these guys, you know, and like I'm gonna miss school. This too. This is my home, man. What are you gonna miss, man? Uh, the environment, you know, being with all of you guys. I'm gonna miss all of it, but it feels good to finally be finished. I see. I'm gonna miss everything, but I'm happy to be entering the real world. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss all my mates. Hopefully, I still see them outside of school and get to hang out with them. Ah, uh, terrified. Yay! I know, that's the case. Terrified. Are you excited? Terrified. Yeah. What's your favorite memory of high school? <laughs> <laughs> Meeting my friends. Good Me too, guys. I'm um, 10. Sad? Well, we gotta move on. Nah, oh, man. Just knowing everyone for like, what, five years now? Just poof, gone. Like, I'm not gonna see, like, Maybe not you, maybe not Olivia, Whoa. maybe not Kayla, 
Like, I'm sad, man. I don't know. We gotta roll, we gotta roll. I'm scared, but excited mostly um, because of how cool it is to be wrapping up the last 13 years. Like, I'm sad. I am so, yeah. started crying the other day because, like, oh <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird that everything's gonna change and I'm not gonna see everyone that I care about every single day. But it's exciting because it's almost over and I'm really excited to go into uni and live. Honestly, it's pretty exciting, but I'm honestly really scared as well because, you know, going into the real world. Me too. I'm, I'm scared, but excited. Yeah, but we're not gonna be seeing each other every day. But it's okay, you know, we're still, we're still, we're still locked in. So, yeah. Well, I'm really happy for everyone because they move on to the next stage in their lives, but I'm also a bit sad because I'm going to miss you guys terribly. We've come to the part where we get to uh, sing our school song. However, after our graduates have processed out, could the major award recipients please return promptly to the stage for a group photograph? I would like to invite the Year 12 musicians to the stage to lead us in singing the school song. Could I ask you all to join us in singing Faith in Christ? The words can be found in the back of your program. We ask all students to remain seated during our final song.
gentlemen, thank you for your attendance here this evening. A reminder that the photographer will be available at the front of the stage for any family or group photos and could the major award recipient, recipients come back to the stage for a group photo. Could I now ask our college captains to stand and lead the Year 12 Class of 2023 out of the hall for the final time. Could we please congratulate the graduating class of 2023 as they recess from the hall.